guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me once again. Today, we're gonna to go over my top five trusted lightsaber companies. So the top five companies I would recommend, but with a caveat, because it's not actually five, it's actually seven or eight. Uh, and the reason that I'm doing this is because three of those companies I class as one because they all sell the same stuff. Two of which are based in the US, one in the UK. Uh, you probably know who I'm talking about, but uh, yeah, so top five, couple of honorable mentions as well. The reason I've chosen these companies as well is either A, I have personal experience with them or B, I trust the people who have told me about them. On top of that, there are loads of people who have reviewed these companies, who have products from these companies and uh, I trust their judgment. Just before we jump into it, folks, uh, I would never tell you to go anywhere that I wouldn't go myself. Uh, if I wouldn't buy, buy from there, I would not expect you to buy from there. There are so many companies out there that are either drop shippers or just straight up scammers. They don't care about their customers. There's no transparency. They lie about you know where the product is coming from, who builds a product. Um, and this is why I wanted to, to make a kind of top five video um, about as to where I would go to and buy a Sabre. Several of these companies I've already been to and the rest of them I plan on using uh, in the very, very near future as well. So keep that in mind, folks. I would never expect anyone to show up somewhere that I would not go to myself. Anyway, guys, enough talking. Let's uh, jump over to the computer behind me and let's get into it. I'm going to start off with the pack store. The reason I'm starting off with the pack store is it's the most recent place that I have used to acquire a lightsaber from. Um, and what I found is not only did I get great value for money and great quality, um, the service that I received was fantastic. I ordered on Monday, May 3rd, and received my product exactly two weeks later on Monday, May 17th. Uh, on top of that, I was quite surprised by the overall quality, if I'm honest with you. the uh, I'll quickly show you. RVS NeoPixel is what I got. It came installed with the Asteria NeoPixel 319, which was great. But you could go for Profi as well, 369, which is a very, very good, very good price for something like a uh, Profi. Um, in terms of the chassis as well, they use what they call their heart system, so it is interchangeable. Example being, I now have the Asteria. So if, if another saber was to come out, I could get the pre-kit and the pre-kit generally tends to be a lot um, cheaper than going for a full installation. So that way I could maybe save some money as well. So that's why I definitely recommend that. Um, the likes of this one, and you do see it here, Ultimate Works. Um, Ultimate Works is a separate website, but well, they are the manufacturer, but the... Um, I would just use pack store personally. Um, I would. I wouldn't imagine you'd have any issues with Ultimate Works if you if you were to buy from their store direct, actually. But uh, pack store offer everything that they offer, I believe. So you know why not give them a try. So one of the reasons I wanted to recommend this one was just sheer value for money. Um, they have their flight options. Every now and again, you have the pack store will release these um, flight versions, and it's a uh, it uses, I believe, a stereo light board, which comes with like a very, very, very good hybrid, uh, hybrid smooth swing, and in-house LED. Um, so the likes of the Fallen, which I did order, but had to put my order through again, and by the time I done that, it was sold out. So I'm a little bit upset by that. But when one six nine for something that looks as nice as this, and I've seen people um, reviewing these, and they have said that they are. Very, very nice. The quality is extremely good. Um, and for the money, what you get is feature rich and very good quality. So that's why I would definitely recommend the pack store. Next on my list, uh, Dark Wolf Sabres. Uh, Dark Wolf Sabres, if you don't know, they are a partner of LGT. And if you don't know who they are, they are probably the biggest um, budget saber manufacturer in China uh, at the moment. They offer budget lightsabers, parts, and uh, they really are the reason I got back into the community at the start of this year. 
because I could not resist. Um, <laughs> they, they, I'll be honest, LGT uh, made it far too easy for me to spend money. So now I'm here speaking to you and recommending them. Um, Dark Wolf as a US-based partner, as is another company, Crimson Dawn. as is another company, Paddle Outpost, but they're closed at the moment. But Paddle and Outpost are not US-based, they are UK-based. So anyone looking for budget and you want it fast, Dark Wolf and Crimson Dawn are your go-tos, really, in my opinion, if you're in North America. If you're in the UK, Paddle and Outpost is definitely the best option for you. They are not drop shippers. They hold stock. They offer very, very good value for money. And at the end of the day, you pay what you get for. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely recommend these ones. I'm not counting these as three. I'm counting these guys as one because they're all essentially reselling the same products just in different parts of the world. So, uh, yeah, go check these guys out. Budget options are fantastic. You can get empty helps and have someone install it for you. Or they do all offer in Hill RGB as well as uh, the likes of the Profi installations as well and uh, other options as well. Next up is going to be Electrum Sabercrafts. Now Electrum Sabercrafts I have not had any experience with at all yet but they are on my list because of recommendations from a lot of people. A lot of people. Now where the pack store and uh, the likes of Dark Wolf and uh, Crimson Dawn and Paddle One Outpost are definitely kind of more mid-tier budget. Electrum Sabercrafts is where things start to take a little bit of a price hike. Um, I have one pre-loaded into my basket here, my shopping cart, and it's one of their popular sabers, the Scion Smart Saber. These do come with the uh, Bluetooth module installed. They use a soundboard called the Diatheum 3 soundboard, which isn't the best of the best, but it's definitely underrated. Definitely underrated on the market. Fantastic board. Um, and it's Bluetooth enabled, so you can control the full Sabre from a mobile app, which is great. You can change the likes of your blade colours, blade effects, you can add sound fonts, you can change, there's an EQ mixer as well, so you can kind of change the way things sound, and it's Honestly, really, really good. Um, so this Scion here, I've just kind of done a random uh, installation kind of choices here. Uh, we come to 589 US. So a little bit more now than the likes of the last the last few. Um, but you will find that as you start to look at more exotic uh, products. Um, Electrum Sabercrafts, I recommend them because I trust the people who have re recommended them to me. I trust the people who have recommended them to me. Um, they have some great products and I believe I've been told on numerous occasions that their customer service is very, very good. So um, that's why. On top of that, I've heard it's very good quality too. So quality is a massive factor here, guys. Value for money and quality. This next company may not need any introduction. This is Sabre Trio from Malaysia. Arguably, right now, probably the biggest lightsaber company on the planet, or at least the most sought after. Um, their stock has gone through the roof in the last kind of year or so. They build some of the nicest, um, high quality, unique sabers that you will see on the market. Um, they offer a range of different options from AAA battery powered stunt sabers to rechargeables, FX sabers, or the ones that people mostly want, the, uh, the NeoPixel Crystal Focus 10 or CFX um, sabers. Now again folks, we're running into kind of territory here where things can get uh, quite expensive, upwards of $500, especially for the likes of the NeoPixel um, options but they are so worth it they are so worth it I uh, haven't got my hands on one yet but I definitely will be and I I don't say I definitely will be because I think I might I know for a fact that I will have my hands on one of these this year um, 
and that's all that's all I'm gonna say on that. So essentially at the moment Sabre Tree were closed. The as a lot of companies have at the moment, have got massive shortages in materials, mainly soundboards. Um, and a lot of companies are feeling exactly the same pinch because of COVID-19 and those kind of um, semiconductor shortages and capacitor shortages and uh, a lot of raw material shortages worldwide. So they are currently closed, but uh, if you're interested in any of their products, head on over to the website, have a little look and uh, follow them on the likes of Instagram and, and keep an eye out for... Uh, news on when they're reopening. I have no idea. I've heard a rumour that it could be the end of July, but I don't know if that's true. Next up and last on my list is uh, one that I've included purely because not only of tenure, they've been around for a long time, but again because uh, the people I speak to have had fantastic experiences with this company. Uh, they say that the customer service is, is great. Some have said adequate, so it's not bad. Um, quality again very very good you're looking at the kind of higher quality tier again you're looking at the higher price tier as well unfortunately with quite a lot of these products like Corbanth they offer a lot of products they offer installed sabers they offer empty sabers they offer um, models and costumes and saber parts they have been around for a long long time they are trusted in the community extremely trusted in the community um, and I could not recommend them anymore. I really couldn't. Um, I'll give you an example. Shout out to my boy, Rob the Rogue Jedi. A very, 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 very good friend of mine. A very good friend of mine who has helped me so much over the last several, several months. Um, he got one of these on May 4th in Malgus. And he got it with Profi. And... Uh, yeah, 700 bucks. 700 bucks. He lives in the States, though, so he'll get free shipping on that. But $700, I mean, look at the likes of the quality on this. In terms of the pictures, they look fantastic. I cannot see any issues at all with why you wouldn't want to buy something like this. That and the fact that you could probably chop up a steak with it or something like that just looks mean but uh yeah so i am keeping close tabs on rob's experience with corbanth um so far it's been a good one it's been a good one some of these companies i haven't had any experience with at all so when i haven't had any experience with them personally i do the next best thing i go to people that i trust and people that i know and i ask them about uh about the company so I would definitely, definitely recommend Corbinth. Honourable mentions. I couldn't make a video like this without mentioning a couple of other companies. One that's been around for a long, 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 long time. And this one that has again been recommended to me by people I trust. This folks is Sabermark. And Saber Mac are based in Singapore. There's something going on in Asia just now because two of these companies are not only based in Asia but producing some of the nicest, highest quality sabers on the market. Again, they are on the kind of pricey side. And uh, and like and again, this you know, the likes of Corbant and Saber Trio, as well as Saber Mac. You know you're gonna wait. There's lead time. You're gonna wait. You know, so just make sure that if you're purchasing from any of these companies, you are going to wait for your Saber. They will build the Saber for you, unless of course it's in stock and ready to ship. But uh, unless if it's not marked as in stock and ready to ship, then it will be lead time. So. One thing I really like about Saber Mac is every Saber, every different Saber has its current different lead time. So the Spectre, which is an absolutely stunning 
Karen Jarris esque um, replica. It looks beautiful. 40, uh, 12, sorry, 12 to 16 weeks lead time, 8 to 14 week lead time on the Photon, Dark Storm, 8 to 14, 8 to 14 for the Shadow Raider as well. Uh, this one's ready to ship, so you can see as to why already I like this company, because it screams transparency. That's as far as it goes, however. Um, haven't had any personal experiences with this company. I, I do hope to have shortly. Um... Some of their stuff is looks unbelievable. I know people that have their sabers. They have not said a bad word. Good value for money, good quality, good customer service, and uh, just great communication overall. So that's why I would definitely recommend checking out SaberMac. Raiders Vault, I am recommending purely on tenure. They have been in the community and in the industry for so long. Um... A long, 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 long time. A long, long time. Again, one of these companies that will make from scratch. So if you make an order here, you will wait for your order, unless it is ready to ship, which, of course, there is none of at the moment. Um, Vader's Vault can get quite pricey. I believe they have a couple of sabers that are upwards of two, two and a half grand. Nearly $3,000. You might think that that is absolutely insane. One thing that you do get with, with Vader's Fault is, um, from what I've been told, again, from what I've been told and from what I've seen with my own eyes and from what I can gather, uh, and I have seen a Vader's Fault saber in the past, the quality is insane. The, uh, the sheer work that goes into these um, sabers from Vader's Fault is, is unbelievable. Um, again, look at the combat class. I have some very, very nice sabers here. And they're all made to order, custom made. Unless they're ready to ship. I mean, you're not going to pay any less than, say, maybe four or five hundred dollars for a saber with these guys. We move on to the master class. Here's one called the Derelict. It's three grand, guys. It's three grand. That's a three thousand. Well, that's a three thousand dollar lightsaber. And uh, but I mean, look at it. Look at that. Look at the sheer quality of that crystal chamber. How clean it is. I mean, I'd be very, very surprised if, if there was a single sharp edge on any of these sabers. Um, they have been around for a very, very long time. They are tenured in the industry. They have a lot of experience. And that's why they, they make this video as an honourable mention. The only reason I didn't include them in the, in the original five, purely because of things like this. Three grand. I mean, I don't know many people that have three grand to just drop on a lightsaber. Um, I'm not saying that it wouldn't be worth it. I'm sure it would be worth it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go and win the lottery or something before I can drop that kind of money on on a lightsaber, but uh, no, I would definitely check them out. If you are the type of person that has money like this, then check them out. You will not be disappointed. Um, you will wait though, you will wait, I believe. At the moment, uh, anyway, anywhere from 16 weeks to nine months. I'll say that again. Anywhere from 16 weeks to nine months. Nine months. So there we have it guys. Um... Yeah, I mean, all the companies, like I said at the start of the video, uh, I wouldn't expect anyone to go anywhere that I wouldn't personally. So you can have the uh, have the the faith that I would, you know, be ex in exactly the same position that, that, that you're in, um, should you kind of choose to shop with these companies. Um, one thing I can say, though, is, is these have been around for a while. The ones that I have used, I have had great experiences with. Paddle Outpost, amazing. Um, Jazz and Dave down at Paddle Outpost near London, um, or even in London actually. Uh, they work so hard and you know a little shout out to them because I know they have been working very, very hard since the inception of that store. They've taken a little bit of a break at the moment. Well deserved break um, and I can't wait to see what they come out with and what's kind of new on the store when they reopen, um, I believe this Friday. The likes of Electrum, 
loads of people again. I know people who have used these at this company. Um, I've seen their products. I've heard about their customer service, so that's why I'd recommend them. Dark Wolf, um, Johnny, friend of mine, good friend of mine. Uh, we talk very, very, very often, and he actually just got married. So, uh, Johnny, congratulations to you and your good lady. I uh, wish you many, many years of happiness, my friend, and uh, yeah, made up for you. I made up for you. But uh, yeah, I mean, despite you know having the kind of contact with Johnny, the the products that that he offers, and he's partnered with the, the company of LGT. Um, they offer very, very, very good value for money. In fact, the majority of the sabers that I have are LGT products, uh, and they are very, very good value for money. So if you're in the market for an inhale, or even if you're looking for something that's a new pixel, um, you don't want to spend five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Dark Wolf, great option. So is Crimson Dawn. Again, another company I've heard very good things about. LGT reseller. Um, Again, if you're looking for that, it's really going to be a preference one, but I couldn't include one without including the other. So, um, in the US or North America, Crimson Dawn, Dark Wolf. In the UK, use Pad One Outpost. Uh, I know Pad One Outpost, they, they ship to pretty much the whole world as well, but it makes more sense though if you're in the, in, in the US or in North America to use either Dark Wolf or, or Crimson Dawn. Sabre Trio, don't have to say anything about this company. I just need to say Sabre Trio and everyone knows what's going on with this company. Um, they're great. Their reputation is probably one of the best, if not the best, in the community at the moment. Uh, they're having a bit of a hard time with you know COVID numbers going up in Malaysia um, and other other factors like shortages, like I mentioned earlier on too for components. But um, you know I cannot wait to get uh, a hold of a Saber Trio for the quality. Um, they're just such a great company. You know you can tell that they're so transparent. And uh, yeah, I mean, just one that I would highly, 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 highly recommend. Highly recommend. As for the likes of Corbanth, been in the game a long time, bit pricey, but you get very good quality. Customer service, again, from what I've heard, is very, very good. Um, so yeah, hit them up, have a little look and see if you, if you have that kind of type of money to, uh, to, to essentially, you know, spend or blow, or however you want to kind of say it. Um, definitely look it up at Corbanth. And then the likes of Saber Mac and Vader's Vault. Um, again, a bit on the pricier side. Not everyone can maybe uh, afford to go there, um, which is why I, I included the likes of the budget, um, the budget companies. You know, because they are good quality. But if you do have a bit more money, you can go to the likes of Vader's Vault, Corban, Saber Trio, Saber Mac. Uh, and you can maybe spend a little bit more and that little bit more does show as well in terms of the quality that you that you get you do get uh, a much higher quality of uh, not just the, the, the help but of, of the installation as well it generally seems to be the rule of thumb so um, definitely check all these guys out um, I'll link down to them in the, uh, in the description as well um, I usually link to most of these websites anyway just for uh, just for people to kind of know, I try and, and be as informative as I possibly can um, to help people with uh, deciding on what's right for them, you know. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, comment down below. If you've got any recommendations of uh, where you would maybe buy sabers or where you buy sabers from, put them down below for everyone else. Share your experiences as well. And uh, until next time, May the force be with you.